Hey, bienvenue, mes amis. Welcome to another adventure in French. Today's adventure, two new irregular verbs. That's right. The verbs are vouloir and pouvoir. Vouloir is the French way to say to want. Pouvoir is how we say to be able, or it's the uh, French equivalent of the English can. All right. I said these were two irregular verbs, but you're going to see that they are conjugated quite similarly. So, we teach them together. That's convenient. All right, shall we get started with how we talk about to want in French? All right, as you can see, I have my subject pronouns already set up. I have the singular, first, second, and third persons, je, tu, and il singular. Of course, that third person singular, you could also use elle to mean she if you'd like. And I have my plural set up, first, second, and third persons plural, with nu, vu, and il. All right, let's get started. I want is je, the, V-E-U-X, and it's pronounced the, the X is silent. Je veux, I want. The tu form, same thing, tu veux. That's you want, you, one person. Je veux, I want. Tu veux, you want. All right, let's look at third person singular. Almost the same, except it's going to end with a T, but it's pronounced the same way as the other singulars. Il veut. Je veux, I want. Tu veux, you want. Il veut, he wants. Right, moving on to the plural, nous, voulons, we want. Now, we've seen this before, where all of the singular forms are very similar. They sound alike, maybe just a little bit of difference in the spelling. And then we come to the new form, and all of a sudden, it changes. Now, instead of dealing with this EU, we're dealing with the V-O-U-L, which looks very much like the infinitive. All right? We see that all the time. You can guess what the VU form is going to be, because normally it follows the pattern of the new, and it is VU, voulez. The easy is pronounced A, VU voulez. You, plural, want, or you all want. So we have je veux, I want, tu veux, you want, il veut, he wants, nous voulons, we want, vous voulez, you want, and then finally for the il plural. We're going to go back now to the singular form, and you're going to see similarities there. V-E-U-L-E-N-T. It looks very much like these three, right? And that's why we call it a boot verb. Because remember, in a boot verb, the singular, all the singular forms and the third person plural forms share uh, common spellings, common form, whereas the nu and the vu do their own thing. All right? It's called a boot verb. All right, so we have je veux, I want, tu veux, you want, il veut, he wants, nous voulons, we want, vous voulez, you want, il veulent. They want. And with this il plural, you could also use l plural, E-L-L-E-S, if you like, if that's what you're trying to say. Okay, so we know how to talk about to want. And very simple matter, say, I want an apple. Je veux une pomme. I want an apple. Okay, you simply express what you want. It can be followed by a noun. Vouloir is often followed by a noun. But vouloir and its conjugated forms can also be followed by verbs. Let me show you how that works. Uh, say, oh, oh, they want to dance. They want to dance. Il Vol, they want to dance. Danser. Just like we do in English. 
In English, forms of the verb to want are followed by an infinitive. In French, the same thing. Ils veulent danser. They want to dance. So when it comes to vouloir and its conjugated forms, you're going to find that this irregular verb is either followed by a noun to tell what is wanted or followed by a verb to tell what someone or you want to do. All right, very useful verb, of course. All right, now let's look at pouvoir. I said these conjugations were very similar, and you're going to see that now. All right, how do I say I am able or I can? Watch this. Je peux. P E U X. I know you see the similarities here. Very similar, except for that first letter. All right. Je veux, je peux. Je peux, I am able, I can. The two form, you probably see where this is headed. Tu peux. You can. You are able. The third person singular, il. Il peut. He is able, or he can. All right, and you see it's the very same kind of conjugation. All right, we see the similarity. All right, now that's going to continue on with our new vu and il plural forms. It was nous voulons. This time it's going to be nous pouvons. Nous pouvons. We are able or we can. Je peux, I am able, I can. Tu peux, you are able, you can. Il peut, he is able, he can. You could also use L here, L singular, elle peut, for she is able, she can. Nous pouvons, we are able, we can. And then the vu form for second person plural. Vous pouvez. You are able, you can, meaning you all, more than one person. And then finally, the eel plural form, the they form, is, and again, very similar, il peuvent, il peuvent, they can, they are able. Je peux, I am able, I can. Tu peux, you are able, you can. Il peut, he is able, he can. Nous pouvons, we are able, we can. Vous pouvez, you are able, you can. Il peut, they are able, they can. Now, unlike our friend vouloir, pouvoir is much more specific in what can be, what can follow it. Um, for example, with vouloir, I could follow it with a noun or a verb. Well, you can't follow pouvoir with a noun. It just won't make sense. I can't say, I am able an apple. That doesn't make sense. I can an apple. No. It doesn't work when you try to follow pouvoir with a noun. Pouvoir requires that it be followed by a verb because you're going to express what is able to be done. All right? So you need a verb. So. I could say, je peux, um, let's say, um, well, acheter une pomme. I can buy an apple, or I am able to buy an apple. Notice the form that follows pouvoir it's, and its conjugated forms. It's always followed by an infinitive. All right, this is a little bit different than in English. In English, you don't say, I can to buy an apple. We just say, I can buy an apple. But in French, we're going to use the infinitive form. So pouvoir and its conjugated forms always followed by an infinitive to express what one is able to do, what one can do. All right? Always followed by an infinitive. So if you see pouvoir and it's not and a conjugated form of pouvoir, not followed by an infinitive, something's the matter. All right? So it's very specific on what 
it can be followed by. And that is, again, let me say it, an infinitive. All right. Well, those are the irregular verbs, vouloir, pouvoir. As you can see, they're very powerful verbs. They can express very important actions, talking about our desires, our wishes, our wants, talking about our abilities. So, I hope you'll use these verbs often. I know you will. And I want to thank you for joining me for this adventure in French, conjugating the irregular verbs, vouloir and pouvoir. All right, time for me to say au revoir, à bientôt.